you're doing well. And now, if you don't mind, we're going to get to the news. President Biden is set tomorrow to deliver his State of the Union address, and it could very well be the first State of the Union to start with the word, Welp! <laughs> Presidential candidate Nikki Haley announced today she's ending her campaign for the Republican nomination. Well, she's a reasonable person. You don't have to tell her 16 times. <laughs> That's right, Nikki Haley is ending her presidential campaign, but as an olive branch, Melania has offered her first lady. <laughs> oh, no, we have one of those audiences that loves love. <laughs> In his Super Tuesday election night speech, former President Trump said that his children thank him for getting into politics and added, quote, they've had it very easy since I decided to run. Oh, yeah, I'm... Sure, they could testify to that. <laughs> Former President Trump reportedly met with Tesla CEO Elon Musk over the weekend in Mar-a-Lago. The two of them have a lot in common. They both lost a lot of money to an ex. <laughs> the Biden campaign is reportedly planning to host a fundraiser later this month in New York, which will feature a $100,000 photo op with President Biden and former presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton, or for 200,000, just Obama. <laughs> In a new interview, Hillary Clinton said she was not surprised by the Supreme Court's decision to allow former President Trump to stay on the ballot in Colorado, because there is only one thing that surprises Hillary Clinton, and that's balloons. <laughs> Thousands of users reported that Meta's platforms were down yesterday, including threads. Now, oh, that's weird. It was working fine six months ago when I signed up for it and never looked at it again. <laughs> a medical journal recently published an article about a 62-year-old German man who has reportedly received more than 200 doses of the coronavirus vaccine. And if you're wondering what effect that has on a person, he used to be a 29-year-old French woman. <laughs> And finally, according to a new survey, 55% of baby boomers said that people who dress professionally during virtual meetings are more likely to be taken seriously, but nobody heard them because they were on mute. And that <laughs> was a monologue, everybody. We are off and running.